we have a new feature. It's the ability to uh, set a custom main menu uh, for logged in members. And David, you put together a couple slides here on some of the benefits and use cases for this. So I'll pass it on uh, to you and you can kind of walk us through this. And then what we'll do is we'll actually uh, show you guys how you can enable a custom main menu uh, for your logged in members as well. Yeah, so this is a great new feature that can be utilized uh, for websites that really want to provide a different experience for just the typical website visitor versus your actual logged in members. So, uh, for example, you could have the primary public main menu have links that go to your about page, your sign up page, because if somebody's not logged in and they're coming to your site, maybe that means they're not already a member. So you might want to uh, push them to sign up. Uh, you can link them over to some of your basic publicly available content. What benefits members do get to, again, try to entice them to sign up and then maybe make some testimonial success stories available within your main menu that they can uh, easily reach. Whereas for your private main menu, for your logged in members, what you want them to see might be different than what you want just the typical non-registered website visitor to see. So for your logged in members in the main menu, maybe you want to link them to their account dashboard. So it's really easy for them to go back and forth between the content on your site and then managing their account, publishing posts, things like that, everything that they can do within their dashboard. Maybe you want to add actual direct links so that they can add content. If you're really pushing your members to publish articles, say for example, on your site, then you can add a direct link in your main menu that says uh, add new article, publish new article. They click that and it takes them to uh, the page where they can start writing up an article and publishing it on the site. You might also want to link them to some search result pages. Uh, this would be different depending on what the primary focus of your website is and your target demo, of course, what your members are doing on your site. But again, if it's focused on articles, maybe you want to link them to the articles search result page. Maybe you have a specific page that you've made uh, for your members that links them to a bunch of different areas on your site that really only members uh, would utilize and your typical non-logged in website visitors wouldn't. And you can link over to custom portal page that you've made like that. Or another option would be that you could link to a custom landing page that you've made for members to upgrade into a higher membership plan. So uh, if they're logged in, maybe they're just at a, a free member account. You might want to provide a, a quick link for them so that they can see uh, what benefits they could get if they upgrade and a quick link so that they can quickly uh, go ahead and upgrade into a higher tier membership plan rather than having to do that through their account dashboard. What's really cool about this, and it's available to everyone now to, to have these two different menus for public menus and uh, logged in members uh, main menu is you can really create a wall. Uh, you know, the main menu for public people are, is, is basically selling them on joining your site, giving them the information they need to get familiar with your brand and your story and what they can expect and get from your site and how they can join your site. And then once they past that threshold, once they take the leap to register as a subscriber, a free member, a paid member, uh, some in some capacity joining your site, uh, then when they're logged in, they can have that member's main menu. And what's most important here is you can direct them to the actions that are most important you as the website owner want your members to take, whether that's completing their profile, pushing them to upgrade, taking them to a portal page where if you have the members only add on, you can actually take them to members only um, pages uh, and things like that. So what we wanted to do was kind of show you how you can enable this on your site um, and then kind of how you can create that alternate menu uh, that would be designated for uh, logged in members. And before anyone asks, uh, right now, it's just a public main menu and a menu for logged in members. And even when we uh, mentioned in the Facebook group that we're going to be pushing this, the immediate next response is, um, can we have menus for different membership plans for different membership levels? Um, and we are going to push that in a phase two. Uh, so we're going to let this one uh, marinate a bit, get some feedback from it. But it, it looks like we also will have the ability to have alternate main menus based on membership plans or at least choosing the menu elements that will display 
uh, per uh, membership level. So we're just going to figure out the best way to do that. But for now, this should still be really awesome, again, for creating that wall uh, between the public main menu and the members main menu. So let's dive right into this quick demo here. Um, what we'll want to do is it'll start at the dashboard. So we're all on the same page here. So the first thing we'll want to do is let's go to the menu manager and look at the menu that is our website's main menu. Um, in this case, we have a header main menu and let's go edit that real quick. So again, it really depends on the focus of your site. Maybe your entire directory is public to search, uh, you know, searching for members, searching for coupons, events. You don't need to register to search any of that stuff. You can continue linking uh, to those pages. There's nothing wrong uh, with that. But let's let's take the route of something like this, where uh, you really want people to register first uh, before they can access uh, some of the pages of your site. So you know you could have a link that says about, and it goes to your uh, about page, and then you know something like why join, and it goes to your you know you have a page for your benefits page. You can have uh, testimonials and goes to a page that you've created with the testimonials and you could say join today and it goes to your uh, join page and we'll just save that i'll delete those last two links as well about about our mission we'll do that and i'll show you what you can do on with the alternate menu let me just delete these two menu items and let's visit the site, make sure I'm logged out, okay? So here's a site, um, this was on the travel guide theme, but we can see here about our mission, why join, testimonials, join today, whatever else you think uh, will get the message across and motivate people to wanna register or subscribe to your website uh, in some capacity as a member. Uh, so what we want to do is then we want to go to the, men the menu manager again. So we have our header main menu. It's really simple. The easiest thing all of us can do is go to actions and just clone the menu. We've actually done it here, header main menu too. I'm just going to clone this menu. And I'll update the nickname here. I'll, I'll call this logged in main menu. So we're going to edit our new cloned menu. I'll give it a new nickname. Logged in main menu. And I'll save the changes. Nothing else I need to do. So now let's go grab some links that a member who's logged in might navigate to in their account. So let me actually go ahead and log in as a, as a member now. Let's go to my search members page here. And I'll just log in as a the sample member here. Okay, great. So the first and most obvious page, I can certainly link to their account home, their main dashboard page. If you ever wanted to figure out what to link to, just you know, click on something like dashboard and you can just copy the, the whole link. Uh, I like just taking the part that's after the domain name, the, the first forward slash there. So let's go back to our main menu and we'll say my dashboard and we'll link to account home. Uh, you know, what else is important on this site? Let's say this was a uh, classified site. So I want to add a classified. It's like post a new classified. So here um, I can uh, I can add a new classified here. So again, I'll just take this link, count classifieds add, and we'll say add new classified. You know, or create new classified. I'll save that there. Uh, maybe you can't search members until you have a registered account. So now I can search members. So I can do like find matches, right? Uh, whatever that may be. And that can go to my search results page. And we can look at uh, maybe members only content. And maybe we have a page that's, uh, you know, members only or whatever, whatever that may be that no one else would have access to. So we can go ahead and uh, save these changes. And so now I have, I've kind of set up my two different menus. I have my header main menu, and then I have my logged in main menu. So how and where do I tell the system use this one for the public menu and this one for uh, the, the logged in members. Uh, it's pretty simple. You can navigate to your design settings. 
and the right now it's the third drop down main menu design uh, you can see there's public main menu and members main menu so what you can do for everyone right now it's they're both locked onto header main menu so everyone's seeing the same menu until you decide to take this action to create a custom uh, logged in members menu uh, so in this case i have it called logged in main menu and i'll go ahead and save the changes and we can uh let's go to the home page so you can see I'm, I'm logged in as this guy here and we can see the menu now says my dashboard add new classifieds uh find matches and members only content so if i click on my dashboard here you know if billing is important for you guys you can link pe people to their billing history um, it just really depends on what the focus on your site is. There's no there's no right answer here or, or right way to do this. Uh, it's just what you want uh, to direct your logged in members to. So uh, we can see here I can add new classified ads. It's taken me here. Find matches. It's taken me to the search results page. So uh, this happens to be a public page on this site, but remember, maybe this is only a, a members only page on your site. And the link will now be available up there uh, once I'm logged in. And I don't have a members only content page, but uh, you can certainly add one uh, there. Uh, so it's pretty self-explanatory. Again, you can find this in the design settings under main menu design, just choose a public main menu versus a uh, members main menu. And the easiest thing to do is in your menu manager, uh, just go ahead and uh, clone under the actions link here, clone your current main menu and then create those alternate links that you want for the logged in members menu. They might be identical menus. Maybe only one link is different on, on one of them. Maybe the join today button is gone on the uh, the main menu and, and you remove that when the members logged in, right? It doesn't have to be something so drastic. It could just be as simple as removing the join today button once the members actually logged in. So uh, again, uh, excited to see what you guys uh, create and use this functionality for. And again, in a phase two, we will be releasing the ability uh, to have main menus based on the specific membership plan, not just the if a member is generally logged into this site uh, or not. So what we'd love to do is if you have any questions about this, it is new functionality built in. I think it'd be pretty powerful uh, to see what you guys do with this.